Thank you for joining me today. I don't particularly like to use the word urgent or stunning or amazing because I think it's overused, especially on the Internet when it comes to uh, people presenting information. But this is quite unique, and I want you to follow me for just a moment. I'll try to make this as short as possible, not make it as long as some of the other ones that we do. In the Hebrew and Greek alphabet, each letter of the alphabet has a numerical value. And in the Greek, for example, the particular letters have a value, and you can read about this in Revelation chapter 13, where it says, calculate the number of the beast, for it's the number of a man, his number is uh, 666. In the old manuscripts, there are three Greek letters that are actually in the old Byzantine text, and one totals to 600 in value, 160, and the other six, and that's where we come up with the 666. Now, the term for that is gematria, and it was known back in John's day when he wrote the book of Revelation, but it was also used by the early church fathers when they were trying to calculate the numerical value of the Antichrist, and that's how they came up with Caesar Nero. They said it totaled the 666, which matched Revelation 13. And of course, they were incorrect in that assumption, but that system has been known for quite some time. Now, from a Hebrew perspective, the Hebrew alphabet has 22 letters with no vowels in them at all, but the system of taking the uh, alphabet and making it a numerical value goes back to the time of the Babylonian captivity and is well known among many of the rabbis. In fact, if you are an actual rabbi in Israel, you know this system because it's one of the laws of hermeneutics uh, in Judaism. Now, what I would like to do is just go through this real quick, that when uh, Bush and Gore around the year 2000 had their election controversy, we did a study on the their names with the symbolism and published it in a book that's now out of print. I regret that's one of the great books that we ever wrote, in my opinion, as far as history, as it relates to America and, and Israel's connection. So we did that. And then the more recent one was uh, in 2016, during the entire year of 2016, before the presidential election, I did a study on president number 45. And the number 45, when you translate it back to the Hebrew alphabet, is mem And I'm not going to use all the guttural sounds that most you're supposed to do when you talk the Hebrew language today because, um, well, just let, we're going to do it the old English way, the old, the old Southern way, I guess you'd say. But uh, Memhe is a word in Hebrew that means what? Like if you're asking a question, like if I was going to say, what is what? I would say ma, m ma, memhe ma. And its value was 45. So I predicted three times in 2016, once in West Virginia, once in Houston, Texas, the night before the election and the day of the election at six o'clock at Omega Center International, that when the election ended in 2016, everybody would say, what? How in the world did that happen? And, uh, there, Megyn Kelly, when she was on Fox News about three days later after the 2016 election, made this statement, I quote, people are waking up today all over America saying, what, how did this happen? And of course, people began to text me and email me and and uh, nothing, nothing like prophetic or being a prophet by predicting that. It's just knowing the system and knowing how the system works. So what I'd like to do for just a moment is say to you that when uh, Biden was considered to be president number 46. There was nothing in the number 46 that had anything whatsoever that we could research. But what was interesting was his name translated back to Hebrew. Uh, Biden, of course, we have to take the I and the E out because there's no uh, vowel in the Hebrew alphabet. It's Bet Dalet Nun. And uh, if we take it, we have two different uh, words here. Uh, most Hebrew words have one root, but we have two different words here that we can find in the name Biden in Hebrew. First of all, we have Bet Yod, which is pronounced, it, it, it's pronounced as B, and it means alas, alas. The dictionary says that alas is an expression of grief, pity, or concern. And it's found, I looked at this this morning, 14 times in the Old Testament, and it's usually used in the sense of a warning or a concern. Alas, the great day of the Lord is coming, etc. And that's in the English translation of our Bible, the 1611 translation. The second part of his name is Dalet Nun, and that spells in Hebrew uh, Dan or Dan. And uh, we read about Dan in Genesis 35 and verse 25. He was one of the sons of Jacob that his wife had through a handmaid. And then we read in Genesis 49, 16, where Jacob is blessing his 12 sons. And he says this word, Dan shall judge his people. So the word Dan 
Uh, D-A-N, as we say it in English, or Dan or Dan and the root, etc. to judge, judgment, to strive. And it also, according to the Strong's Dictionary, can be mean to strive with laws. In other words, to create laws where there was striving or contention. Think about that in the laws being passed. So actually, the name can mean alas, judgment. And I got that from a actual Hebrew scholar. It can mean alas, judgment. So that's the Hebraic name of number 46. And I wanted to share that with you because time will tell exactly the meaning. And I do believe that is a prophetic meaning. I do believe there's prophetic implications there. And so um, the systems that we're using today in closing, let me just say this, this, this is not something new. It's new to the West, but I have studied the uh, Hebrew roots of Christianity. I studied the uh, different uh, levels of interpretation in uh, the, the letters, and the meaning of the letters, symbols of the Hebrew alphabet, the values, etc., for so many years. And I found out that during prophetic seasons, there's your key during prophetic seasons, that there's many strong prophetic implications that are to be found in this. And I thought you'd like to uh, maybe hear that today. I find it very, very interesting. And let's see where this is all going to go in the future. We know that God doesn't do anything or allow anything to happen till somehow it's first revealed. So we hope that this has... Uh, intrigued your interest today. Be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Give us a thumbs up. And also don't forget that at, at the end of each of these, there'll be a special advertisement of resource material that you can get, which helps keep our uh, seven point outreach ministries going around the world, reaching millions of people every single day somewhere. Thank you so much. We are living in epic times. We are the Revelation generation, and we must not hide in spiritual darkness, but must clearly understand these prophetic times and seasons, also informing others that the last days are upon us. Perry Stone and Bill Cloud have joined together for an urgent series of new prophetic updates that are now available to you on CD or DVD. The messages included by Perry are, the Hebraic prophetic code concealed in the seventh kingdom parables, America, epicenter of the next revolution. The new 70-year prophetic cycle and latest end time signs. Israel prodigies being fulfilled, final birth pangs of the Messiah. America in crisis, the sign of fires, the ax, and the tree. Also included in your CD or DVD set are three messages by Bill Cloud that contain amazing prophetic insight. The messages are the beginning of sorrows, when God hides his face, the fight for America. To receive your set of CDs, request offer number 20PS2-CD. They are available for your gift of $60 or more. To receive the DVDs, request offer number 20PS2-DVD. They are available for a gift of $80 or more. You can order online at perrystone.org or by calling toll free 1-888-21-BREAD. That's 1-888-212-7323. You may also write to us and send a check or money order to Perry Stone Ministries, P.O. Box 3595, Cleveland, Tennessee, 37320. In this day and time, as we continue to experience biblical prophecy unfold, these timely messages are something you will want to share with your entire family and friends. We look forward to hearing from you soon.